Hey guys, I am just getting ready to take my son to the orthodontist and I thought, you know what? This is a perfect time to record and use my um, makeup that Lucy, Luce, what Luce does is the name of her channel, Lucy Pert, sent me from England. And so I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to share it with you. So I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Admittedly, I have used this already. Um, and this CYO eyeshadow palette, which I have not used yet. I was waiting because I wanted to do like a first impression video with you guys. I'm going to take the, there's um, the four little cream shadows. So I'm definitely interested in using those today along with some of the others. So these are the cream ones over here. And with these to be able to do a look. And I thought I'd use, just do something kind of light and pretty and simple um, because I don't tend to do very light <laughs> simple looks. And then also she sent me the Sleek um, Lip Dose Soft Matte Lip Click and it is in boss mode. So I will wear that with my lip gloss that she sent me over top. Glam or Collection Glam Crystals Holographic Lip Topper in boo too. <laughs> I didn't know that before this one. I don't really have a plan for this aside from wanting it to just be like a simple soft kind of look. Um, so I'll get my eye primer on here. Um, the only thing I have on right now is my moisturizing oil that I make which you may see how to make that wearing what I'm wearing today and with this makeup on that I'm going to be doing because I need to record that video and I haven't done it yet. So okay. And I have some friends here because, well, they're not really friends. I don't like them. I want them to leave. But um, my face, my skin lets me know when I'm not eating well. And since it's been the holidays and stuff, today is Thursday the 2nd when I'm recording this. And, yeah, my skin lets me know. Like, what you doing, girl? All right. So I'm going to take this other little brush out. And I'm going to go ahead and just go into this shade first, kind of. I don't know if that'll be able to be a transition because it's very light. So, might just be a little bit more of like a base kind of thing. So there's not really a darker shade, they're all kind of shimmery. So we're gonna see what we can do because I don't wanna use another palette with it. I wanna just use this one. I was so excited to be able to use it and I really wanted to do a video with it and there was no way I had time before Christmas and New Year's and all that stuff. So now that that stuff is done, which I am sad about because I love the holidays so much, um, I have time to do this. But we are heading into, um, we had already started it up a little bit, but uh, now we'll be going full force into bowling season for my son who's a senior and basketball season had already started. Um, so that's kind of just continuing for my son who is a freshman. And so we are going to be busy and in gyms and bowling alleys pretty much for the next three months. Yeah, through March usually. Um, yeah, that didn't really show up too much. I think I'm going to use... Hmm. Not sure what to do here because... Like I said, I want to be able to... I think I'm going to use this shimmery purple. We're going on the crease with a little shimmer. We're just, we're going to see what happens. I don't think it's going to be like too much, so. We shall see. Yeah, the color is really light, so that should be okay. I was a little bit concerned. <laughs> we're just going to see what happens here. Because I literally am just going to the orthodontist, so it's not like I've got a big day planned. Um, we'll see. My husband might, sometimes when he gets home, he's like, hey, let's go on a date night. Um, and admittedly, we need some groceries pretty bad around here. Because we've just been eating junk and like leftover stuff from the holidays. And I don't know about you, but like my body is over it. I feel awful, so... I'm ready. Like, my skin is freaking out. I'm, like, just bloated and uncomfortable. It's terrible. So, it's time time to move away from all that stuff and get myself on track here because I'm not liking the way I feel. And so, you know, people are talking about New Year's resolutions and stuff. I don't really have any. I always want to lose weight. No, no, oh, I shouldn't say that. But I would be really happy with, like, 10... 15 pounds would be, like, magical, but I'd be super happy with 10 pounds. And, 
so of course I'd like to do that. But honestly, my main thing for this year is I want to declutter my house. I, uh, like I was saying, I said it in the, um, comment on someone else's channel. Like, I feel like my brain is cluttered because of clutter in the house. Like, it just makes me crazy. And I noticed, like, okay, so I have an island in my kitchen and stuff that I try to keep clear. <laughs> and, you know, and then my kitchen counters, I don't have a lot of counter space. And, but we have, like, big appliance type things that are on them, like an air fryer and our ninja and stuff like that. And, um, so there's always something on the counters, you know. And, um, so right before Christmas, because we leave and go to my mom and dad's for several days, um, I had cleaned the kitchen up really good. And then my husband, like the day of Christmas Eve, like before we were leaving, he just made sure everything was like super clean in the kitchen. And, um, he's amazing. And so, um, when we got home after Christmas and I walked in the house, I literally was like, oh. Because it's almost like I was expecting to see the mess all over the counters and it wasn't there. And I was just so, like, relieved. And I said to him, I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so, like, good walking in and just seeing things clean. And he's like, I know, you know, like, me too. So I'm like, this is definitely something that we need to, you know, get under control. Now, this one I think is a primer, actually. And I already primed my eyes. I kind of forgot about that. So, um, I think I'm just going to go into this pink cream shadow first slight pink and just do it all over the lid with my finger so we'll see i don't know i honestly have never used shadows like that before Ooh, that's pretty and i'm just hoping it doesn't um crease up really bad on me since my eyes are so oily but i did use primer like i said so so maybe it will be okay that's simple and pretty but yeah, so decluttering my house, like just decluttering my life. That's what I feel like. Like everywhere in my house has some sort of cluttery mess, I feel like. Like in the living room, it's my little table next to where I sit on the couch because I've got, you know, different mail stuff there and, you know, YouTube, like my little, which would be fine if I kept like my journals and things like that, like not, you know, scattered all over. And just, there's just stuff all over, you know. And then, um... My bedroom is cluttery. It's like a catch-all room. And so my laundry room is really bad. You guys will be saying that because that's something I'm majorly working on. And it's just stuff like that. Like, it makes me crazy. I can't stand it. I'm like, it's just time to do something about it. Okay, I'm going to go into, like, this purple. What I like about these, they don't seem super pigmented, but I'm okay with that for what I'm doing because, yeah. Because if they were, it would be, like, too much. All right. So, I didn't switch brushes for some strange reason, but actually I think it's going to work out. Um, and like our basement, oh my gosh, I need to like, we can't really afford to run a dumpster. I would like to because then I could just get it, like you'd have a limited time and it would be like, you got to do this right now. And it would just like help me get stuff out of here. However... There's no reason why I can't be, you know, just fill up bags and each week with the garbage put out so many because we're only allowed like so many bags each week. And um, I can't remember what it is, but <laughs> way less than what my basement needs to have taken out of it. And um, a lot of stuff though we donate to. So, but I need to just go through like clothes and stuff that are things that like, I know there's probably ones that are too small for my kids down there. And then... Um, so those can be donated, and we actually right at the end of our road have, well, not the end of our road, but one of the roads from our house that lead to a main road, because we live on back roads, dirt roads. Um, but we, there's a, one of those donation bins, and so um, it's easy to just drive down there and drop clothes in that bin. So I need to do that stuff and, like, clothes that are bigger, but I know, like, are not my youngest son style, things like that. Um... Just get them out of here. Like, why are they here? Taking up space. And I'm going through... I haven't put my Christmas stuff away yet. I always wait, usually, till the weekend after New Year's to do that. Because I'm very sad to take my tree down. But um, what I'm going to be doing is there are bins in my basement of Christmas stuff. Instead of taking the stuff from up here down, I'm bringing 
them up one at a time and I bought some new like red bins so they're obviously Christmas stuff and um I'm going to be going through the bins and then putting stuff into the new ones that are things I want to keep and getting rid of the rest. So I'm not even going to take stuff down. I'm making myself bring things up and go through them because if I take it down and say, oh, I'll do it. No, I won't. And so that is a project that I'm not really looking forward to. I don't know if I should use a different brush with this or what. It's a little bit patchy here. I also don't want it to be too dark, but I am going to try a little bit different brush. Um, so yeah, that's basically my resolution, if that's what you want to call it, is just to get my house in order. Less clutter, less chaos, because the less clutter you have, the better you feel. I mean, I know it. I know how much better I feel when my house is not cluttery. And... It's so much easier to clean when you have less stuff everywhere. I am not, I used to be like a major knickknack person when I was younger. And I had a um, big china cabinet my husband got me for Christmas one year. And um, uh, I hated cleaning that thing. But I also just had knickknacks everywhere in my last house. And so many things on the walls and stuff like that. And when I moved, I was like, no, I'm not doing that again. Because like it's so much to dust. And thank goodness I didn't because... This house, since we live on a dirt road, it gets so dusty. But, um, so I'm like, I just, I don't want all that extra stuff everywhere, you know? And the stuff that I do have are just, like, special things that people have given me that I like to have out. And there's not a ton of stuff, you know? And, uh, so I'm so thankful for that because I actually ended up, when we moved to this house, I didn't really have a good place for that china cabinet because it's so big. So my mother-in-law has it at her house filled with her stuff because I was like, mm, you can just use this until... I need a bag at some point um but yeah I just don't want that you know like I the less stuff I can have around the better because it's just too much it makes me it makes me feel anxious I totally recognize that when things are cluttery I'm like on edge it makes me like grouchy and it's not fair to my family and my husband's the same way and he says he's like when things are a mess it like makes me crazy I'm gonna go back in that pink um, cream again just add a little more but yeah it's pretty bad but like I think it's like a proven fact that clutter causes that so no thank you it almost makes me feel like paralyzed like crippled in a way where like I can't get stuff done because I just can't I don't know where to begin I don't know it's just overwhelming so then it's like nothing gets done and I just neglect it and it gets worse and ugh, I hate it. So, okay. So, don't know. I should just leave it there. No, I want to take that, um, that pink, this, or pinky purple, the lighter one, and go back over here. does seem a little bit patchy on that purple, but I think it's, I don't think it's like major. And since I'm going simple, I was having the weirdest dreams last night. I actually dreamed that we lived back in our old house. And when I woke up, I was like, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> I loved actually our last house. I loved the house. If I could have moved that house out to where we live now and put it on a basement, it didn't have a basement. It... I loved the layout of that house. I just, I loved that house so much. But we lived right in the city. Not like a big city, but. And um, we were on a corner lot that was really tiny. So our yard was really tiny. And I just hated it for our boys. Like, it just wasn't enough space. They couldn't go out and like, hit a baseball. Or even play and catch sometimes. Like, it would go in the neighbor's yard. And we had this one neighbor who was really grouchy behind us. And um, he would like, take the kids' balls and not give them back and stuff. Like. And then sometimes he would just suddenly be really nice and give it back. He was an alcoholic, though, and so that I didn't love either because he really loved, like, my middle son, Riley, and would always be like, I want to take him to a baseball game and stuff. I'm like, mm, no. So, like, my kids, I didn't want them, like, out in the yard without me and stuff. It was just, it was not ideal. I was glad that we moved. Um, but, so, yeah, if I could have moved that house out here, <coughs> that would have been awesome. 
I don't know where I was going with that, but okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then come back and we'll finish the eyes and do the lids. Okay. I went ahead and did the rest of my face. Um, I didn't show putting on my, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but I basically do a light wash all over my face and then concentrate like in my most oily areas. Um, I am noticing a little bit already of the um, cream shadow is creasing a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more of it. And then I'm going to just take a little bit of that really light color there that's in the palette. And I'm just going to, so this one over here, and I'm just going to kind of lightly pat over it. Hopefully keep it from creasing too much. It changes color ever so slightly, but not enough. Still looks shimmery and stuff, so I'm hoping that will help it. It didn't look gross or anything, but I'm worried that once I'm out for a little bit, it would start to look kind of rough. Um, I don't typically use cream eyeshadows because I feel like on my oily skin they get even with a primer and stuff they get um creasy creasy is the word I'm looking for crease they crease really fast so we shall see that's why it's always good to try new makeup when you're either gonna be at home or you're not gonna be out long so you don't end up looking like a disaster for too long of a time anyway Otherwise, though, I like the colors and stuff the way it looks. It looks pretty and soft, which is what I was going for. I mean, maybe not super soft since I put the darker purple, but I can't have, like, just a really light. If I have, like, a really light eye look, I feel like I look super tired and just, ugh. All right, so next up, I am going to do the under eye. And I'm going to do that darker purple. All right, and then on my inner corner, I'm going to, huh, I think I'll use this creamy silver. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that's what we're doing because there's not really many inner corner highlight ideas or options, I guess is the word I'm looking for there. So we'll see what happens with that. That actually might be better than on my lid, but with the cream, I mean. We will see. It's not showing up a ton, but it's good enough. I think this palette is really good for um, very like subtle looks. There is that black in it. And there, it looks like there'd be a really pretty, I could do like a really pretty neutral tone look with the golds and browns. My stomach is growling like crazy. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my eyes. We'll come back and do lips. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my mascara and stuff. And I used one of my new ColourPop um, cream gel liners in Prance that I got for Christmas. So it looks like that, which I think is a perfect compliment to this eye look, which looks like this. So simple, pretty, just... I think it goes good with my light pink sweater. I never wear light colors like this usually either, but I had bought this and a blue one like it. Um, when was it? Oh, on my girl shopping trip in November, the beginning of November. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my, this lip look might not look right, so I might have to take it off and then just use the um, gloss. Gloss all the time. I call myself a gloss girl. Couldn't come up with gloss. Yikes. Okay. But so we're going to go ahead and use this sleek lip dose soft matte lip click in boss mode. So it looks like this. Because I'm thinking it's not going to be the right color for this look, but that's okay. I still just want to try it out. I like the shape.
yeah, I can already tell the color even with gloss over it is not going to be, aww, I just smeared it on the cat, um, is not going to be right for this eye look, um, with what I'm wearing. I just, it's too bold to me. I would rather have this lip with like a really neutral eye. So I'm going to take that off and then we'll just do the gloss. Okay. I'm definitely going to use that lip color with a different look though, because I love, it's such a pretty like berry color. Okay. So this is my Boo 2 lip gloss. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a, you know, like where the applicator's like on that part. Ah, surprise, surprise. I like this better. Ooh. It's got like that iridescent pink in it. Ooh, it's so pretty. Smells really good too. It's a different smell than, you know, a lot of like, um, with glasses have almost like a cupcake or something smell. No, this is like more of like a candy, like sweet tart maybe or something. Okay. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm a gloss girl. What can I say? I love gloss. So it has the iridescent pink and almost like a purpley, which actually goes perfect with this eye look. And so I think it's like, yeah, the perfect complement to this eye look. So that is my first look using my, I keep looking at myself in the mirror over there. Um, my first eye look or my first look with my, um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my CYO eyeshadow palette and then the lip gloss from Lucy. So um, my makeup from England that I love so much because I love her and it was so fun to do. If you guys have not seen our back swap yet and to see all the amazing stuff she sent me, I'm going to link it up here for you to check out um, because it's awesome. Like, oh my gosh. Actually, hold on. I'm going to grab one of my snacks so we can try it together. Okay, I'm feeling some uh, Sweet Corner Strawberry Fizzy Lances this morning. It's literally 9.27 in the morning. <laughs> But, you know, hey, it's okay. Um, I've been up for a while, so it feels like it's later. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I can't wait. I love, like, licorice -y type things. It kind of looks like it might have, like, I don't know if it's got a sour powder on it or what it is, but, okay. Oh, it smells so good. So it looks like this. Yay. Yep. Sour. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's so sour. I'm sorry. I hate hearing people chew, so. I don't get the whole ASMR thing. It freaks me out that people like that. Oh. The strawberry flavor, though, is so good. And I do like the sour with it. Okay, that's so good. I won't make you listen to me eat anymore, but I'm definitely going to go finish eating this one and hoard the rest because, well, I have been sharing a little bit with my family, but my candy kittens, no. I let my husband have one. Nobody else is touching them. Like, they are the best. I can see why they are Lucy's favorite candy because, oh man, I, I'm gonna have to have her send me some. I'm gonna send her Cheetos. She can send me candy kittens. Like, seems like a good swap. <laughs> But, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my look with my new makeup from Lucy, my new makeup from England, and um, checking out one of my new snacks that she sent me from England, too. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys very soon.